Team, welcome to another edition of Raising Havana. This is episode number 13. So today was all about nose work for Havana. I've been doing work with my scent work instructor and we really wanted to start pushing her just a little bit more. So what we did is we did two separate exercises. One was for tracking and one was for scent work. The scent work was all about teaching her to start navigating around objects to find the coin. So for this, uh, I hid the coin under some gardening equipment. She would go and she would find it and search it and I'd reward her at source, throw the food away and then rehide it. We did really, really well with this. We did struggle a little bit with distractions, but that's absolutely fine. She gets really excited when she's out in the garden. So that's nothing particularly new. But I was really, really pleased and really, really happy with how she was actively searching. This is the first time she's actively started searching for the coin, which made me really, really happy. The next thing we were teaching her is all about building a positive association with my scent. To do that, we did something called a scent pad, which is basically where I walk in a really small area and lace it with treats. When she goes in there, she learns that the place that she gets fed is where my scent actually is and that's going to be a really big important part of tracking for those of you that don't know what tracking is tracking is when we teach a dog to follow human scent to find and end article at the end so it's a little bit different from scent work in the sense that scent work would be for example me popping a coin or some cloves or a cut up bit of kong whatever it might be in a room cueing her to find it and she searches that room to find that specific scent whereas tracking would be me out in, in a field or in the woods and I walk in a specific direction and hide something like a glove or a coin or whatever it might be and the dog follows the exact footsteps that I've taken to find that article so I'm teaching her both of those dog sports. Finally we then did some paws up training and this was kind of successful and kind of not. She's become a little bit more averse to wearing her harness recently and you can see that a little bit in the video but what we did end up building up to doing is just having the harness out kind of like that so it was pointing with the collar towards her she was quite happily engaging with it and trying to bite it and stuff which any engagement is good engagement and will work on teaching her to enjoy having it put on but overall I was really really pleased with her today and that's it so not a really intense day with her today very low-key and very chilled out just building on some basic nose work concepts tomorrow I'm going to take her out for a little wander provided uh, the weather isn't too bad and see if we can crack our coin indication outside and really start working in on some loose lead walking is what I want to tackle tomorrow. So there we go. Hope you guys have had a really, really good day. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. Please subscribe to this channel to keep up with Havana's daily adventures. And you can find me on Facebook at Jack Benton, Dash the Dorset Dog Trainer. Thank you very much for watching team and I'll chat with you again soon. Bye bye.